we're going to do something different. And I, can I put my glasses on? Is that okay? Okay, all right. Because back on October 31st, I started this race with the idea to get Houston back on track. I knew that I would be, not be the most popular person. I knew that people would accuse me of being a politician. I'm no politician. I deeply care about the city of Houston. I deeply care about the city of Houston. Let me tell you why I care about Houston. Let me tell you why I care. I'm going to take you back. I'm going to take you back to 1980. Now, how many of you were even alive in 1980? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you back. I'm gonna, can, I take you, can I take you back to 1980? All right, I'm going to take you back to 1980. In 1980, oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. In 1980. You know what I was worried about in 1980? I was worried about a lot more. All I was worried about in 1980 and I'm going to say it, and my mama's here. My mama is here. My mama's right there. Mama, in 1980, all I was worried about is, could I avoid? You don't understand what I'm saying, right? In 1980. You don't remember? Oh, I know you remember. Yeah, you can't hear me. She can't hear me. Listen, guys, we're going to change this city. We're going to change this city. I am so excited about the city of Houston. Are you excited about the city of Houston? I am so excited. I'm not going to go back too, too back into our past. And my mama knows our past. And it was hard. It was rough and tumble. When people say, like, oh, well, he had a hard upbringing. Well, I had a hard upbringing. My dad used to say, I'll fight at the drop of a hat, and I'll drop the hat. <laughs> and I love my father, and we've come to, I've come to peace with my daddy. But it was bad. We had a hard time. We had a hard time. And I'll say this about my mom. She made sure that, she made sure, my mother, I want y'all to all celebrate my mother right here. My mama, my mother made sure that when Sunday school, Sunday service, Sunday night, Sunday, uh, Tuesday Bible service, Wednesday night, Vacation Bible school. Uh, the, 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 my mama made sure I went to church. Thank you, Mom. Mom, if nothing else, I'm going to tell you something right now. And I got all these people here. If nobody else, if, if I've never done it before, I love you. Thank you. My mother, let me tell you about my mama. She drove my school bus. My mother drove my school bus, and everybody in my whole community, 1,300 people, everybody in my community loved my mother. Mom, you know it's true. We love you. We love you. We live nine miles outside of a 1,300 city. We lived in a 1,300 person city and my mother is probably the most famous person in our city. <laughs> after me, maybe after me. Mom, I love you so much. Now my dad, not so much. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. My dad was pretty mean and he would like, you know, anyway, whatever. Um, but let me say, I got my sister right here. Yeah. 
My sister, my sister, my biggest fan, I love you, girl. I love you. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen in this election, but I know that my mother and my sister and my girlfriend, Frances Moody, no matter what happens, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. Now, let me say this. Now, I'm going to say it. I got my glasses, and I'm getting ready to preach. Are y'all ready? All right, let's preach. On December 14th, I started this race for Houston to put Houston back on track. I announced that we can do better, that we're at a crossroads. Are we going to be the city that we could be, the city that we know we should be, the city that we all expect we could be? Or are we going to be the city that we're a little bit scared that we might become? And that's what we've been working for. That's what we've been working for. And I love the city of Houston. Do you love the city of Houston? Yes. When we talk about, let me, I mean, I'm, I'm going to ask you something. There's a woman that lives on the east side of Houston. Every morning, she walks two blocks. She walks two blocks to her bus stop, and it's not safe, and it's not covered. And she drives, when she gets on the bus, she goes all the way across Houston, and she sees the inequity between the east side and Tanglewood and River Oaks and Uptown. My question to you is, who at City Hall represents her? I will represent her. I will represent her. No, listen, listen, uh, hear me, hear me very carefully. Hear me carefully. There are people that are homeless, that live in tents in our city. They live in tents in our city. They live in tents, and they, they have a job. But the city doesn't care if they have a job. And so they go to their job, and when they're gone, the city comes and takes everything they own. Who represents them? I represent them. I represent them. We will do better. Now, the, the press says, oh, goodness gracious alive. That's what we say in East Texas, right? <laughs> goodness gracious alive. Turner's going to win without a runoff. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. There are homeless people across this city that have no representation. There are people that care about animals that are all across this city. There are people in this city that have no representation. And guess what? Tony Busby will represent them. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm wearing, I'm wearing my United States. I can still wear. Isn't that funny? I can still wear my Marine Corps greens. Yeah. And I'll tell you something right now. I grew up, my father was a butcher. He cut meat for 43 years. 43 years, stood on his feet, and he was mad at the world. My mama drove our school bus, and worked in the high school cafeteria. Actually, she worked in the snack bar, I'll be honest. I mean, my mom's like, Tony, tell me. I worked in the snack bar. I didn't have a lot of options. I told my mom, I said, Mom, I want to go to college. She said, we don't have, I think you like got to be a $1,300 check. I don't remember what it was. I didn't have a lot of options. And now here I am in the city of Houston, running for mayor. 
If you don't think the American dream exists, it exists right now. It exists. It is here. And now, somebody say, oh, Tony Busby's not going to make the runoff. Well, guess what? We're going to make the runoff. And when we make that runoff, we are going to win. We are going to win. We're going to win. And I want to say something to you. The other day, the other day when I went and voted, early voted, there was this, this song like, the red, have any of you heard that, that song, The Red Dirt Road? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, what a song, right? I was listening to that and I was with my mama. And I, obviously, I love my mama. <laughs> Mom, you're going to be famous. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for being so good for me. When I was, there was a song that talks about a, a, a person that grew up on a red dirt road because I grew up on nine miles outside of a 1300 person town that's where I grew up I didn't know anything all I knew is I wanted to get the hell out of that town <laughs> that's all I knew and I'm going to tell you something right now the fact that I'm standing here with all of you people, all of you people, going to be your next mayor. Going to be your next mayor. I want to say this to you. I want to say this to, to you. There's something to be said for honesty. There's something to be said for being true to your principles. There's something to be said for that. Career politicians have put us in the position that we're in now, and we're going to change it. We're going to change it. We're going to change it. And let me say, let me say this, because I don't know what's going to happen tonight. And who, I mean, the, the good news is this. I'm still going to love my mom. I'm going to love my sister. And I'm going to love Francis no matter what happens. But God is good. All the time. All the time God is good. All the time. And let's say, God, guys, guys, are we, are we, are you ready for this? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And I want to tell you a little story. So there was this guy. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm just going to tell you this story. So there was this guy, and he was sitting on his beach house. Some fancy guy. I don't know what the hell he was doing, but he was sitting on his beach house. And, and he was, he was like sitting on his beach house, and he saw somebody like way in the distance. And he's like, saw somebody. Look at that. <laughs> Sylvester Turner hates that, right? I don't know. I was a United States Marine, okay? All right, all right. But they, they, in the distance, they saw this old man. He was walking down the beach. Have y'all heard this story before? Okay, I'm going to tell you what the story is. And so they saw this old man, and he was down the beach, and he's like throwing like starfish into the ocean. Have you heard that? Right? Okay. And so the guy was like watching this, and he's like, Okay, I'm going to go talk to this old man. Like, old oh man, what are you doing? What are you doing? And the old man is throwing starfish into the ocean. Have you heard this? Okay. Well, anyway, so the guy gets off the, off his, his, um, off the deck of his beach house, and he goes over and talks to the old man. It's like, old oh man, old oh man, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm throwing these starfish into the ocean. And he said, oh, man, what difference could that make? And he picked up the starfish, and he threw it into the ocean, and he says, for this starfish, it makes a world of difference. Right? You hear me? You understand what I'm saying? This mayor, this mayor thinks that everybody is just going to look the other way He's going to look the other way, and he's going to let 
this city go the wrong way? And guess what? Everybody here assembled, no different, right? Am I right? I'm going to say this, I'm, I, and, and I'm going to be done because I, I, I think I've worn out my welcome. I could, I could, I could never, I could never live up to everything that y'all are saying. I will promise you I will try. I will promise you I will try, but I will do a damn better than our current mayor. I promise you that. I promise you that. Whether we talk about the homelessness issue in this city, whether we talk about stray animal, uh, whether we talk about the animal cruelty that exists in our city, whether we talk about like doing something about, about flooding, we've done nothing. We can do better. We can do better. When I was a, when I was a, and I got some Marines in this, I know I got, I got one Marine, I can see one Marine not there. When we talk about the United States Marine Corps, one thing we know about Somebody said to me the other day, they said, Tony, how are you putting up with this baloney, all these people that are attacking you and, and messing with you? And listen, let's be clear about this. All the stuff that have been attacking me, let's be clear. I, I stood and I lie, lay in one place for eight days in a row. Okay? Yeah, man. Eight days in a row. Listen, let me say this. Let me say, can I say this? Can I, let me just finish with this. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I am excited. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but I bet we're going to a runoff. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? And let me tell you this. Our city deserves better than what we have now. And we're going to do better. We will do better. And I'm telling you something. Everybody that's here assembled, God bless you. We're going to do better. We're going to do better. God bless you. Both on Tony Busby.